Uh oh. I think we may have just overheated something quite badly there. 2018 Hyundai Kona Off-Road Adventure on Goldmine Hill. That's coming up next. So why the heck are we out here with what looks like a somewhat higher hatchback? Well, I think this Hyundai Kona is actually pretty off-road worthy. So these Goodyear Eagle Touring all-season tires may not scream off-road to you, but I'll tell you what, this car has a center diff lock. The wheels are pushed out right to the corners, which means we have a pretty good approach and departure angle. I actually think that this Kona has the possibility to be really good off-road, even compared to something like a Suzuki SX4, maybe even a Samurai. It's nice and tidy, decent amount of ground clearance, good all-wheel drive system. This is gonna be fun. This Kona is kind of the dirt bike of the truck and SUV world. It's just so narrow, overhangs are so short. And what that means is to get from this campsite up here down to the main road, I really have two options. I can either take the rocky route, which may mean trouble with a crossover with somewhat limited ground clearance, or I can take the dirt bike route around this campsite and down the easier way. I couldn't do that in a full-size truck. Mike is over here behind the camera. Mike, it may have been better off just kind of taking the rocky way. Yeah, dude, that looked more like the different <laughs> way than the other way did. Well, we're down, let's go hit Goldmine Hill. Hey, but you got that wheel pretty high up in the air. Yeah, not a lot of articulation on the Kona either, but it's it's all part of the fun. Yeah, you know, it's you can see the Kansas under that wheel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. Goldmine Hill, there are three stages. First stage is steep and loose rocks. It's a good test of traction and power. Stage two, articulated and steep. Stage three, it's a rock crawling section. So the one issue that this car has off-road is it has a dual clutch transmission which means I can't load up on that torque converter as I could in the traditional automatic. So far handling stage one with ease. Yeah, it requires a lot of throttle to get up here with that dual clutch. That dual clutch works really well on the road, but when you're trying to modulate slowly off-road, it is not your friend. Come on, not a single traction issue though. That's really awesome. All-wheel drive system working well. So, we stop here at the beginning of stage two, lose all momentum. We interrupted this footage from Goldmine Hill to bring you a new segment called Cool Tech with Mike. Or Cool Mike with Tech. Cool Tech with Mike. Okay. Well, I'm Cool Mike. I don't know. Just go with the tech. Cool Tech with Mike. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so the first vehicle is obviously this Kona that we're sitting in right now. And the cool tech that it has, the first part of it at least, is this heads up display. So I've got a little button down by my left knee here that I can press. This little screen called a retractable combiner, the technical term for this type of heads up display, will pop up out of the dashboard. It's kind of cool. Uh, but there's actually a lot of neat customization you can do in here. So I have my little menu uh, down in my center screen here. And as you can see, there's a segment called heads up display. And in here, I have a bunch of options with stuff to do. Uh, so I can change the display height. Uh, you can also go with rotation. So for whatever reason, if you feel like uh, it's rotated to one side or the other. You can actually twist the display a few degrees on each side. Uh, you have brightness control, so I left it on the, the, the brightest setting, but you can go all the way down to pretty dim, frankly, and then I'll go back up. Uh, you also have content selection. So there, there's a few options here. You can opt in or out of turn-by-turn -turn information, traffic information, lane keep uh, assistance information, and blind spot safety information. And then you also have the choice to choose the size and the color of the display itself. So 
You can choose from small, which is uh, not that much smaller, but a little smaller, medium or large speed size. And then you can go back and then you can pick the color, which you have the choice of white, orange, or green, which is also very fun. This is your 22nd good, bad, and weird on the 2018 Kona. The good is the engine, 1.6 liter four cylinder, 175 horsepower, 195 pound feet of torque. Good amount of power, tons of torque to pull you out of just about anything. The bad is the steering, way too light in normal mode and artificially rubbery and heavy in sport mode. And the weird, it's time for another game of let's see if you can find the headlights. Are they here? No, those are the running lights with the turn signals. They're right here with the fogs down below. Personally, I think the styling is a little bit weird on the Kona, and for that, I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so one of two things is gonna happen right here at the start of stage two. It's very articulated, so what that means is we're probably gonna have the left front wheel off the ground and the right rear. Because we do not have locking differentials, those are the wheels that are gonna spin up and lose traction. Now, in a perfect world, what will happen is the traction control will break those spinning wheels, forcing torque to the wheels with traction. And that should happen instantaneously, but a lot of the times these crossovers really struggle with that transition of torque. It takes a while. Those wheels really have to rotate before the brake traction control system kicks in. Hopefully we won't have an issue here. What I need here is a constant and steady application of power. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, dual clutch working hard. You can feel that turbo kicking in though. Floored, nothing, nothing spinning. Yeah, let me uh, turn traction control off. Traction control disabled. Yeah, it's cutting power. You can feel the spinning, but nothing's going on. Transmission temp is high. Look at that. Transmission temp is high, stop safely. So we may be done out here. Oh, that's no good. So essentially, because we don't have torque converters, it's just roasting those clutch packs, which means we're not getting up this hill. I'll give it one more try after it cools down. It just doesn't have the gearing or that torque converter to load up on. I hate using momentum off-road because that is inevitably when you start to break things. Ready? Transmission temp is high again, so that's it, we're done. We're not even gonna try stage three. While the transmission is cooling down, it's time for another episode of Cool Mike with Tech. Cool Mike Tech with. Cool Tech with Mike, there it is. All right, so this Hyundai Kona has an eight inch touchscreen display that comes with a lot of cool standard features that you would expect to see on many cars these days. You of course get the choice of satellite radio, FM radio, and AM radio, which you would expect on pretty much anything. Uh, you have a map feature with navigation if you choose. Uh, we, we use the Google search function to search for many things, but tacos was the primary thing that we searched for today. Uh, and as you can see, it does a great job finding tacos. Um, furthermore, you have access to your standard App Connect suites, such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Here we have Apple CarPlay hooked up. The nice thing too, a lot of the times you kind of get locked into Apple CarPlay when you have it, uh, but Hyundai has this nice feature where you can actually still utilize the car's infotainment system while you just happen to have Apple CarPlay hooked up. Uh, so it's a really nice system to use. I think this is, should sit as a benchmark for the industry in many ways. So check this out, this is stage three. We've done this in multiple vehicles. We did get through this with vehicles like the Renegade Trailhawk and the Jeep Compass, but it's getting really difficult. This is the top of stage three. This is of course the deep hole. I'm about six feet tall. 
we're just not going to be able to do it in the Kona. We're already overheating the transmission. It's a no-go. Okay, the Kona, kind of a mixed bag off-road. The transmission, which is super fun on-road, that dual clutch seven speed, let it down coming up the Gold Mine Hill Stage 2, which is much steeper and deeper than a lot of you guys will be using this Kona for. If you're using it on dirt roads to get to campsites and the like, you'll be just fine. As always, this is Tommy Micah with the Fast Lane Car saying, see you next time. Go back to tflcar.com. Okay, trying the downhill brake control. Kent, what is <laughs> This is the hill descent control, guys. This is. That is horrible. That's quite quick You've right be there. Able to set that, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to use that. That's really fast. Here, I'll try it again. Uh, you know, maybe the issue is Hyundai never intended people to, to, to do hills as steep. You know what I mean? Or maybe mountains is a better word for it. Can I control it? We're, we're, it's flashing at me, it's doing it, but it is a uh, hauling. So you have a little thing on your dash? Oh, you can see it. Five miles an hour down this? That's a little That's optimistic. No. It's not the speed you'd like to see. I wonder if there's a setting we should have. Well, usually you can adjust it on your cruise control here, but. Oh. Nope.